been a minute. You got Derek Parker, the hip hop cop, one and only. Yes. How you been? I've been good. And you? I've been great, man. My audience been asking about you. Where you been? Where you at? I've been working, man. I'm trying to pay the bills. <laughs> I see, bro. And now the first thing I gotta ask you about this. Um, there was a Drake show at the Apollo Theater in Harlem here in New York. Now, you know, obviously a lot of acts came out. Dipset, Twenty One Savage. Um, now the now there's a thing that was making the rounds is that it seems like any NYPD made was doing some surveillance. There was an officer, an officer being was filming, you know, people coming out. What are your thoughts on that? What can you say? Uh, I don't know. I I saw the the video from TMZ, and it looked like there was a community affairs officer filming. I don't know why he was filming, but. They were filming the people going in. I don't think they were inside the actual um, theater itself, but they were filming outside, and I don't know what that was for. I mean, it could have been for some community thing for the neighborhood, or it could have been, you know, to, to let the kids know that they were at the Apollo Theater and this is what they do. I mean, a lot of people thought it was probably more that they were spying on probably rappers or right. spying on people that are with the rappers. I mean, that's another possibility. Um but exactly the the intent or to know for sure, we don't know. I don't know yet. Right. And obviously when you go to, um, to a lot of these hip hop shows nowadays, now there's a lot of police presence, right? Well, there is because you got to remember now there are at some time at these events, not only in New York City, but in Miami and Chicago, Atlanta, there's been shootings. I think the most recent thing was the French Montana shooting in uh Miami. Miami Gardens uh, about a couple of weeks ago where 10 people were shot, you know, and the police department here in New York City is very proactive. I mean, I'm not saying other police departments don't do their job, but the NYPD is very much on top of this hip hop industry because they don't want this, these kind of tragedies to happen here, especially with the collateral damage that it brings, you know? Right, right. Um, now, do NYPD usually do surveillance like that with the phones all out, like all obvious? Like, no, if, if they were going to go and surveil somebody, they would be very covert in surveilling them. That's why I don't think this was done intentionally uh, for mm -hmm. rappers. But uh, who knows? I mean, I don't know the, the, the whole story of it yet. I mean, it just came out today. So, you know, you have to look into it and see what it was about. But I wouldn't be surprised if they paid attention to, you know, the rap music industry and paying attention to what's going on when you have these concerts with these big performers, you know, because they are concerned about what happens in other cities and they do monitor what happens in other cities so that it doesn't happen here in New York. Right. I mean, it, it did cause an uproar as far as Twitter and on social media, like people are complaining about it. Like, I mean, I'll read a couple of tweets for you if you, if you want, um, NYPD filmed the crowd leaving the Drake show at the Apollo. At the Apollo, hip hop police are at it again. Uh, what the NYP did at the Apollo after the Drake show was nasty work. Like, what, what is your response to when you hear things like this? Because one thing that I always hear is that, oh, how come this doesn't happen at a at a rock concert? Well, I'll be honest to say this to you, and maybe people don't like to hear this, but. At these rock concerts, you don't have the kind of violence that you have at the hip hop places, the hip hop concerts. I mean, it's been proven over and over again at some of these events that there's shootings in Miami. I think I forgot was Little Baby. I think it was. It was a uh, a shooting with 21 or 22 people got shot about a year ago, um, and Miami PD didn't really pay too much attention to what was going on back then, and there was collateral damage. A lot, two people I think died, and there were 21 people that were injured. And the shooting. So then you had this thing with French Montana. We've had it's not just the rap music industry, but in a whole, we've had other shootings at these festivals, at these right. uh, things. I think recently, as of yesterday, and, and uh, lunar, uh, lunar, it was a lunar um, uh, day of the lunar, whatever you call that a holiday, a special holiday in California. I think they shot ten people. The guy killed ten or eleven people. Wow. So at these events, these large events, the police departments are now starting to pay attention because. They see that sometimes you have people that have these beefs or have some kind of mental disorders or, or angry about some things that go up and they start uh, shooting people. And look, those people that got shot in California, I'm sure they were just there to have a good time. Nobody knew that they were going to die the next day, you know? Right. So that, that's, that's something that the police departments have to pay attention to. 
they have to pay attention to large festivals and gatherings and events. I know it's tough, but it's reality. Right now, we live in a different world where right. um, we have to police everything sometimes. And I know people think that you know you're intruding on their rights and oh well, why are the police looking at here? Why are they there? But they have them. They have them at clubs. I think it sh it was a shooting at Elmhurst Queens uh, Saturday into Sunday where. A 19-year-old boy got shot and a 30-year-old woman got shot in the buttocks. The boy died and the woman, you know, she's in stable condition now in the hospital. Um, you know, this is what happens at these large events or large venues. People in general start to get a little antsy and a little crazy. And then these things happen when people get shot and killed. Correct. Right. Yeah, and then let's not forget, I remember the, uh, the Troy Ave thing, the Troy Ave shooting in, in Taxstone. That was a big thing out here. That was a big thing in Irving Plaza because they thought it would never happen there. And the right. problem you had is that these guys come with beefs. Sometimes people come with beefs, they come with problems. I've been dealing with this for so long with the rap, not only the rap music industry, but personal individuals that come to clubs and bars. They come in and they see somebody they don't like or somebody they had a problem with. I mean, years ago, I had some guys show up at a club, and this is a crazy story where the the guy inside was a blood member, and they said, hey, look, Derek, this guy, he um, assaulted one of my friends, so we have to get him. And the guy opened up his truck, his trunk of his car, which is a 750 BMW, and he pulled out a Desert Eagle. And I will forget, this was maybe like 15 years ago. And he wanted to shoot this guy. Now, the problem you have with that is if he would have took that gun out and started shooting, he might miss his target and shoot someone else. So I yelled at him that I would lock, they would all be locked up. And I know who they are. So I said, this is not happening here. It's not going to happen while I'm here, you know? I don't want anybody shot. I don't care what kind of beefs you got. Take that stuff around your neighborhood, but not here. You know, we were on Park Avenue on 56th Street, and there was already an outcry about us having a party up there that was a urban party because the community didn't like the party. They didn't like all the cars, the noise, the people. They didn't want this type of party in their neighborhood, you know, especially up there where people pay a lot of taxes. So they were very against it, and they tried to move that party out. But you know, eventually it got moved out because that's what happened. But, you know, it was going to cause a problem. And if these guys would have took out that gun and shot people, it would have been even a bigger problem, you know? Right, correct. I see what you're saying.